Malta and Gozo, a part of a group of islands that sit 80 kilometers south of Sicily in the Mediterranean Sea. We are here for a mountain biking adventure, exploring the landscapes, riding the trails, and meeting the people. Everywhere where we rode, we could see churches on the distance uh, or hills or crops. Malta and Gozo are an amazing uh, set of islands. It's, um, it's, I was really surprised when I was there. I never thought they would be as beautiful, as stunning, uh, have so wonderful people and such an amazing history. Sometimes we roll next to cliff with 100 meters drops to the ocean. That was really nerve breaking. Oh, the miles, the miles, look how they go. The good thing about Malta and, and Gosu is that uh, you got the sea, hills. Um, you know, and you can always climb and ride downhill, so it's, uh, it's not flat, it's never flat. We found this small bakery that's been in the family for the last 84 years or so. <laughs> they cook really tasty fatiras for us. Gigantia is a place where there's a massive temple built 5,000 years ago. This temple was erected already 1,000 years before the Egyptian pyramids. The trails were so much fun. I mean, you know, we were the only ones right in there. The, the trails were technical, fast, and super fun to ride. Sunsets are unique. I mean, it's an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, you know, the sun turns gold every afternoon. Because sunset to me is a very special moment of the day. Riding at sunset in Malta, it was just magical. We visited the medieval city of Mdina in the middle of the night. We were like a mouse, 
riding our bikes in the dark, you know, always uh, in the middle of the city. When you look at the ocean, the views are so stunning that the only thing that really put me back on the bike was the sheer pleasure of riding these island trails. We met this sweet old man at the Blue Grotto who insisted we drank in his cafe. I was positively surprised with the Maltese Islands. They have a rich cultural heritage and are awesome for mountain biking. That's a perfect combination. For such small islands, Malta and Gozo have their fair share of steep climbs. We didn't really have problems except for the fact that we lost oil from my front disc brake, but we managed to sort it out with the help of local folks. The Maltese people have a make, do and mend mentality. They can fix anything. The people we met really influenced our time on the island. People were so friendly that it was hard for me to carry on riding. I would have spent the whole day chatting with them. I definitely think people made a difference in every place. The Maltese are easygoing and exceptionally warm. We rode out to the Dingley Cliff. We found trails with magnificent views out to sea. We were told about this hidden inlet and we decided to go and find it. It was really a long walk uh, down carrying the bike on my back, but it was worth it once we got to the bottom. I had such a great time on Malta and Gozo. These islands are so worth visiting. If someone asks you for a map, you gotta go and make one for yourself. <laughs>